All right, this is going to be the very first time I've ever done a video like this. This is a book reveal. You know, people do these different package reveals, things, and whatever else, and you see me opening it and whatever else. And uh, this thing is kind of worth it, okay, because uh, I've never spent this much in my entire life on books. Okay, this is a series of books, very interesting series, um, not very easy to come by, and that's why I paid so much. With shipping, um, it was... I won the auction for these, and with shipping, um, it was just over $2,000. Ouch. Um, but let me explain a couple of things before I get into actually unboxing what this is and showing it to you. Um, pretty valuable tool for researchers. Many years ago, I was going to a Baptist church, and there was a guy there that I think could have been a Jesuit. The guy was really weird and whatever, and... Uh, not a fan of the King James Bible. I did not understand that not all Baptists are uh, believers in the King James Bible. I didn't understand at the time. I was just newly saved, very naive, the whole thing. And um, this guy came to me at one point after one of the lessons I taught on the Bible version issue, and he said, you're very dangerous. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I've kind of held on to that over the years. But he also said something else, which I did not take as an insult. I took it actually as a great challenge. And it's something that I've tried to do. See the books behind me here. And he said, the problem with you King James only people is you repeat what you've read from other books. You'll read a book, you know, like uh, New Age Bible versions uh, right there. This is a newer one, but um, I have some of the older ones around. But you'll read a book like that and you say, everything she said must be true. And you don't actually go to the original sources and document what she said. Or, you know, Peter Ruckman or Sam Gipp or David Daniels or name the author that's written on, in defense of the King James Bible. And he said, you don't often go to the original source documents. I remembered that. And I thought, I'm going to take that as a challenge. And I'm going to try to go to the original documents whenever I can and verify um, what these people are saying. And that's why um, many years ago... I decided to do some collation work. Just have to get that stuff out there. I kept hearing this thing about all these thousands of of word deletions and whatever else in the new versions. And I thought, okay, you know, there's thousands upon thousands of word deletions. Um, where can I find the list? Nobody had the list. Hmm. Well, then maybe I should try to do that work myself, which is why I did... 5,000 documented uh, word deletions from the NIV, TNIV, from the King James Bible, how they changed the Word of God. And um, I had to go through over 20,000 scripture references. I didn't do it with computers. I did it by hand. Okay, King James Bible, NIV, TNIV, and the Strong's Concordance going through, looking at all the different verses documented in here. I had this on my website originally. Not there anymore, um, but proven. Okay, and ironically, after I brought that work out, uh, the TNIV was scrapped by the NIV people, and the older NIV was as well, and they came out with a brand new NIV in 2011. So, hmm, interesting. By sheer coincidence, I'm, I'm sure. But I've done work, my own unique um, research. Okay, so that's the challenge. Go to the original source documents. Well, um, this is something that I decided that uh, we were talking about this, my wife and I, and I had been challenged on this a number of times. And people said, have you ever read this particular thing? And I started looking into it and I realized it's not what is typically given out to consumers. There's actually a much more thorough set. So I'm gonna show you what that is what's in the box. I know everybody's dying to, to know here, but, um, you know, King James Video Ministries is, this is a ministry. This is not some sort of a, you know, people ask, sometimes they say, brother, where's your church at? Can I come to your church? Uh, well, if you're saved, you're in my church. Okay. I don't have a church building where people come and worship me. All right. Um, I know that that might be a great disappointment to people. They'd like to come to some place and meet me and hang out with me and whatever else. And that would be great. I like to do that, certainly with people. But I have a very unique calling. Okay, 
Um, and that unique calling is to research and study, and and we spend a lot of time doing that, a whole lot of time doing that, and um, and as part of that whole system, a lot of the money that we make goes right back into research. So if you think I'm just sitting around getting rich, yeah, you know, I saw some guy in the comments the other day. He said, "Oh, so he said you're you're attacking uh, people, preachers that want you to pay the mortgage for their church building." But yet we should send donations to you so that you can pay the mortgage on the house, your house where you do your uh, research work or whatever. You run your ministry. Well, um, this place here is paid for, okay? I paid $30,000 for it. Always been open about that. Um, it's not a very nice house. It needs a lot of work uh, in order for it to be livable. Uh, we have wiring issues here, plumbing issues. Uh, we had a, I had to replace the whole roof, which was $20,000. Um, this isn't even for me. I don't live here, okay? This is completely 100% for the ministry. And if you think I want to spend $2,000 uh, of money that I've worked very hard for on research materials, um, you're kidding yourself. Uh, this was a difficult one. <laughs> I was just kind of a, we need these things for our research, but $2,000, ooh. <laughs> But um, I mean, we have literally spent tens of thousands of dollars down through the years, not in a big purchase like this, but just buying books. We have people send us books all the time, which we love. Um, hard to find books. Uh, please don't send me, you know, Benny Hinn books or some kind of thing or whatever. Don't do that. I don't want Benny Hinn books in my collection. If you can't figure out that that, that guy's crooked, well, then I can't help you. Boy, they have this thing taped up. But uh, wait, 65 pounds. Went to the post office and they said, come around back. We have a box for you. Oh. And uh, three years later. Okay, I can see I'm getting in there. All right. Let me take it down this way. I guess they figure if you're going to pay this much, you need to package it correctly. So, get that down. Let me do it this way. Cut this down on this side. I know the anticipation must be just too much for people. Make sure I'm not cutting into the book in there. That'd be a problem. Okay. There we go. Wow. All right. So, let me put my knife away here before I stick it in my hand. Um, okay, here we go. What would I spend two thousand dollars on um, that would help out this, this ministry that would be very important for our research moving forward? What would it be? Right there, the Talmud, the Stein Salts edition. All right, right here. So, and this came from, I believe it was a Torah Institute or something like that. We got these on eBay. And they're in very good shape. Um, there are 22 volumes, actual things in the Talmud that give them all of their instructions and whatever else. And people have asked me, you know, have you, Brother Brian, have you actually read the Talmud? Because I defend the Jewish people and I'm for the nation of Israel being in their land. I'm not for the, a lot of their policies, very bad, and a lot of the Jews are very wicked and sinners exceedingly before the Lord. Um, all have sinned. I get the whole thing, but you know the time of Jacob's trouble is coming for the Jewish people. And I'll just say this before I continue: um, and people have challenged me on this whole thing. You know, have you read the Talmud? And I said, no, I've never read it. I've read excerpts of it, but I don't know if I even have a copy of it myself. 
and I started looking into it and you just go to amazon.com or whatever and type in the Talmud and you'll get just one volume. And I thought, oh, okay, that's all that there is to it. No, actually there's 22 volumes. Did a little bit more research, realized there's 22 volumes. If you go to a Torah Institute to go through the entire 22 volume set, be taught the whole thing, it takes seven years. Uh, so like a PhD essentially, education wise. Um, and I thought, why would I spend $2,000 on this set here so I can show off and have a nice uh, more books on my bookshelf that I don't read or something? <laughs> no. Um, the reason I spent the money is because I believe that the rabbis are holding the Jewish people hostage. And again, I've done the video, the real versus fake Jews. Don't put that in the comments. You probably still will, but... Uh, the rabbis are holding the Jews hostage, just like they did when Jesus was on the earth. Uh, the people were there, they, the, the common people, they heard Jesus gladly. But then they were being threatened with being kicked out of the synagogue and all the stuff that goes along with that. All of the, they take care of everything, you know, your, your birth and your bar mitzvah and, and all the, you know, your wedding and your funeral and your, all the other. And so you get kicked out of the synagogue, you're cut off from that community. It's a real problem. And a lot of these Jews are very ignorantly thinking that they're worshiping God when they're actually just following the teachings of men. Okay, um, right here, I'll show this. This is another one of my more expensive purchases. I have the New Testament volume over there going through that right now. The original Dewey Reams from 1610. This is a reprint of it. And this was a couple hundred dollars just for these. It's four volumes set. But again, what are you spending all your money on this stuff for? Because I care and I actually have to do research. I preached a whole study out of these uh, Reem, Dewey Reams New Testament or uh, Bible, excuse me, Reams New Testament, Dewey Old Testament. And so if I'm going to be able to truly show the Jewish people that their system is wicked, then I have to have their materials. That's what this ministry does. So everybody out there that donates to this ministry, um, it isn't just going to make me wealthy or whatever else. I, mean, I don't know what I have to do to convince people that I'm not a wealthy man. Okay, spiritually, yeah, I'm pretty doing pretty good. Thankfully, I thank the Lord for what he's done. You know, counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Praise the Lord. Uh, those people that have gotten saved out there uh, will meet in heaven. Have a great time of fellowship for all of eternity. I look forward to it. Um, so spiritually wealthy, yeah, great. Um, I thank the Lord. Physically wealthy, I don't know how people think that about me. Um, so, uh, and again, this is not, hey, the money comes in and I'm just going out and spending and, you know, eating lobster and, and whatever every night or something. Uh, no, uh, we don't do that. Uh, we have lobster on very rare occasions, even being from Maine, where it's, uh, lobster is supposed to be one of our foods that we produce here. Lobsters, blueberries, and potatoes. Uh, good stuff. But we live extremely simple. But donation money comes in. I'm showing my viewers this is where donation money goes to. Again, I see people in the comments and they say, you know, brother, the Lord's really blessed you with wisdom and I uh, learn a lot from you and whatever. Well, in order for me to teach you, I have to learn myself. And that's why we buy stuff like this. Um, so I don't do very many unboxings of materials that come in for the ministry. Uh, my wife, she buys a lot of books and things and a lot of what I'm teaching and preaching. And uh, you'll hear me quote statistics and say things about the banking and the insurance industry and a lot of the, she's teaching me these things. So you know, she does a lot of the research behind the ministry here, but, you know, we have to have materials coming in. And I mean, she just reads all the time. You know, even our son, Oliver, he's really getting into reading. So, and it all goes into this. I, again, I've used things that my son has even taught me some things, given me some quotes of, you know, books that he's read. And we try to buy them used as often as we can. I mean, these are not brand new. These are used in very good condition. But um, what more can I say? Um, so thank you to everybody out there that does support this ministry. 
Um, a lot of what you give, it goes into research materials. That's one of the things that we do. Um, again, you know, uh, producing DVDs, producing gospel tracts, producing little booklets. Um, I used to do things like that, and it was always a thing of what will produce the most fruit. And there were many times that I wrote little booklets. Uh, I don't know if I have the one here. Um, my first booklet that I wrote, I have it someplace. I don't know. No, that's not it. It's around here somewhere. But that little booklet, I would print it out on my own home computer printer. Uh, this is back in probably 2005. And I was going out and I was giving it to people and things. And, and um, you know, you, you can make copies of it. Well, very few people did. And then I got into DVDs, making DVDs. I made gospel tracks for a while. I still have some of those around. Um, and I wrote different books and just self-published, essentially, my different books. I showed the thing earlier. I used to sell these on my website. Um, you can see the old ministry address back when I was in Hopeland, Pennsylvania, going way back. And I used to make these. I bought the, the binding machine. I got the, you know, the clear paper for the, the cover there. You can kind of see that. And um, the card stock and uh, everything. I've done all that stuff over the years. And I found that the best way to reach people with the truth is through YouTube or other online platforms. I've tried different ones. And that's what the ministry has been now for many years. And I continue to try my very best to get the truth out to people. So um, please, again, understand where your dollars go to. I'm not supporting ministry or a missionary to some foreign country or something like that. Um, when your money comes into ministries or into King James Video Ministries, <laughs> get my words all jumbled, uh, it goes towards paying you know, for our bills, our normal bills, our electric, our computer, my, literally, I just heard my, I heard my computer just slowing down. I'm rendering the third video that I did this morning. Um, and then I'm going to have to upload it. Two videos uploaded, one more that just finished uh, rendering. And when you have a video file, just for, if you don't know, you take a video file, you upload it from the camera to the computer. You take that, put it into a video program. I use Sony Vegas. And then you edit, put fade in, fade out. You put a little bit at the end there so you can have the links at the end and whatever, if I have to put text or images or whatever else in. And then you you uh, render that section and it becomes one file instead of all the little files. And then after that's done, you have a finished file and you can upload that to YouTube. It takes me hours. I spend a lot of time doing that. Um, my computer here is about 15 years old. And by the grace of God, it still runs just like it did when it was brand new. And I'm thankful, very much thankful for that. But um, I can't in good conscience just say, when in an important subject like this, I can't just say, well, I'll just get the cheap dime store Talmud edition or something and whatever and, and be able to really go after this these Talmudic rabbis, which they're kind of in my sights now realizing the things that they're involved in and the things that they're saying about my Lord and Savior, about God, you know, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to go after them. And so I need their materials to do that. So that will be it. I'm not going to keep rambling about this, but just wanted to show everybody that and just say it's because of you that this ministry continues. All those out there that donate to the ministry, um, you are... Um, giving money towards this ministry, that the fruit that comes from this ministry, the people that get con converted, you can have a share in that in eternity. You reach, reach the judgment seat of Christ, you can say, part of that money that I donated to Brother Brian, it went to buy those different editions and these different Bibles and the different books and all this other stuff. And then he brings that out in a video. So thank you to my viewers. And, uh, here it is. Now I have to get busy because there's a lot of quotes and a lot of things that I need to look up from these very wicked books. And um, so that is going to be it. And uh, don't expect this to come out real soon because this is going to take some time to research this. But as we find quotes, I'll bring them out in studies and, and show you from their sources. And literally I bought these uh, books from, 
I think it was a Torah Institute, if I remember correctly. So through eBay. It's not that I knew them and they know me. Um, they probably regret selling me these when they realize uh, what I'm going to be doing with them. But uh, that will be it. And uh, thank you to everybody out there that supports the ministry. See you in upcoming videos.